Hello everyone. My name is Ultra Fatality. I joined YouTube January 10th, 2015. And from there, I've just been trying to give you guys the best gaming, the best skits, just the best content you can possibly see on YouTube since I joined. But lately, I've been going through some terrible, terrible hard times. I've been gone off of YouTube for seven months now, nearly seven months. I haven't uploaded anything through the money troubles, personal troubles, all types of fucking troubles. All that's going to change very soon. I have um, I finally got enough time to do this. I haven't had no time at all. I'm serious, dude. So I haven't had no freaking type of free time. I've, I've been doing a lot of stuff since I've been gone. I've been working my ass off trying to rebuild my channel and myself and everything that I'm doing. And if anybody who's been watching my channel since day one or even new or just seen my last video I made, the last video I made, I was reporting a power outage that I had lost power in my home and it, it, it was just real bad. I had no money. I was on the verge of being homeless. It was just, it was terrible. And for the past seven months, ever since that video, for the past seven months, like I said, it's been rebuilding myself and trying to get myself back up there, ready for the world, ready back for YouTube, ready for everything that life has to throw my way. I, um, I am, I am moved into a whole another state because of, I couldn't find anything where I was going. I am made a completely, complete, com stupid, omega complete new fresh start with my life and everything and where it was heading. So, normally, I, I really don't, wouldn't get personal on YouTube. I really don't want to get personal on YouTube or anything, so I'm not going to get too, too personal or whatever because, I mean, it's YouTube. Come on now. I'm not going to use YouTube as my therapist now or some shit like that. Anyway, this whole episode of Ultra Fatal News, I'm just going to be talking about where the hell I've been at, give you guys answer, and let you guys know what's to come. So, stay tuned, because this is Ultra Fatal News, and this shit's happening right about, hmm, hang on, almost at that three minute mark, almost, ten more seconds. 5-11-H-B-Z-0 Bonsai. Let's do this. Fatality. Welcome. First off, I'd like to welcome back all my viewers, anybody who's stuck with me since day one and just been loyal to the channel or whatever, you have like a crazy, crazy thanks right now because um because um I, I wanna address this. I, I noticed I lost at least two to four subscribers. And I'm not angry about that because in all honesty I don't really blame them. Once you subscribe to somebody you expect them to you know, keep content flowing, keep content coming or whatever. You know, some people are merciless. They don't care what you're going through or anything. They're like, hey, get a video out here. I don't care what you got to do. Make sure you get a video out here or whatever. And just some people are just impatient or whatever. But like I said, no bad blood, no beef. I don't blame them anyway. I've been going for seven months, man, like half of a year. And my goal was... To get at least a hundred to a thousand subscribers this month, like I said, I know it's like some some bull crap. Like, oh no, no way in hell you're gonna get that. But my buddy Anthony joined. His name is uh, I, I Games Masters I I, and um, he he's just dominating on subscribers right now. He joined and was just getting subscriber after subscriber after subscribers. Congratulations to him. I miss that dude too because uh, he's been going through some stuff also. I'm not going to put no business out there on his stuff or whatever. But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight down to business. No beating around the bush. So like I said, I've been going for like nearly seven months now. 
when uh, I think September hits, it'll be seven months. But anyway, the last video I put out was about a power outage. And uh, yeah, I had lost my job, I was barely paying my rent, and um, I was just scraping up every piece of change I can get. I was turning in video games, selling collectible items, doing all types of stuff you can make money, calling in favors from people I don't even know. I definitely don't like accepting handouts and calling in favors or whatever, because you know I'm trying to do it myself or independent or whatever, but I, I needed it right there. So um, I probably had. And it was close too. I probably had like three or four months left. I want to say three, but I only had a little bit of time left on my apartment lease before I could successfully get out of there. No hassle, no troubles, no nothing. And like I said, I had lost my job. And uh, it was one day within these last couple months left of uh, my lease, all my bills just piled on top of me out of nowhere. Every single last one of them was due on the same day. And I'm like, what is the odds of that? I had to choose between paying my internet bill, my power, my rent, and um, and I think that was it. Yeah, I think that was it. And no, and my phone. It was my phone also. My phone, my power, my rent, and the internet. Of course I chose rent. I'm about to get thrown out. After I paid my rent, I just awaited the consequences, man. I, um... I started trying to load up on, I loaded up on a bunch of videos, gameplay videos for you guys. I started doing my Mugen work a lot, made a bunch of videos for you just so I can post whenever it was that time. And then I made that one last video saying my power's out. I couldn't even upload that until I went to my buddy's house in my aims. And I gotta say, this, this buddy of mine, I'm glad I met him because uh, it was kind of awkward how I met him too because uh, the first way I met him, I actually had a stupid huge crush on his wife. I didn't know it was his wife at the time. When I first moved in there, I seen her. I was like, ooh, shit, who the fuck are you? Like, damn. The things I would do to that body. Anyway, so blah, 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 blah. Months pass, months pass, months pass. Eventually, uh, his the girl who I have a crush on, his wife, having a birthday party and, um, he just, I just got off a, this is before I had um, got fired, this is how I met him. So I had just got off of work. Actually, no, I'm lying, this is the day I did get fired. I think this was like within the week or the day I got fired. Yeah, it happened, it happened this, the next week or I think two weeks after I met him. But anyway, I was just walking through the door. And I seen him at my door. I mean, my door was wide open. My first thought was he was a robber. Like, who the fuck in my house? <laughs> but I see my roommates in there. They were talking to him or whatever. And he was explaining, hey, it's my wife's birthday party. You can come over if you want to chill out. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, a random dude inviting me to a party? Why not? What the hell? I'm having a bad day. And he was turned out to be my neighbor living right, next, uh, right across the hall from me. So we went over there. Found out that was his wife. We chatted. We became close friends, and ever since then, we just been like the coolest of buddies or whatever. Like, the dude was really fucking. Me. He helped. He helped out big time. For what I gotta say right now, if it wasn't for him, I would have probably definitely been homeless. Cause uh, my pride ref let me refuse to go back to my mother's house. I'm like, I will not. Like, I do not want to go there. So, um, after my power got shut off, he had gave me the offer like hey you guys can stay here if you want just to use the power or whatever sleep eat whatever you need to do and I'm like fuck yeah man you serious about this cause uh even when the power hat went off you we were just struggling like crazy like the internet went off first and I, like I said I couldn't give you guys no content for a long time I tried to make a video I tried to upload a bunch of videos let you guys know what's going on I tried posting on my websites and whatever, but I, apparently people don't check my website. My website isn't really that popular anyway, so I don't blame y'all. It's okay. Anyway, um, for like I said, for the first couple months, oh, I stayed over there looking for a job, job hunting and everything, and I even contemplated on joining the Marines with him. I'm not a jarhead. I'm not an Army dude. I do not want to do anything involved in the military. It's not that I don't like the military or nothing like that. It's just that I have little personal personal views on the military which makes me say no I don't want to do this this is not my cup of tea so I tried to join with them at one point I actually went there signed up 
and we start hitting the gym and everything. But um, I start getting job offers also. So I'm like, here I am. I want to be. My dreams in life is to be like the greatest game designer ever, or a rock star, <laughs> or the best martial artist or any type of hobby I got. I just want to be the best at and be famous for that. I don't do anything military like or guns like. Well, I do try to practice gunslinging and be awesome with a damn sniper and revolver and all that shit. On the BB guns I got. Anyway, getting off topic. So anyway, after like while I was living with his at his house for a couple months, and like I said, contemplating on the Marines and everything, I was getting job offers from um, from places out of state. So I called my mother. I was like, why am I? Why is people from out of state contacting me? And she told me she dropped the bombshell saying. Uh, her and her boyfriends was about to move to Tennessee to go live down there, and I'm like, "Good luck." After I'm like, "I'm like, I don't care. Go ahead, you're fine. You want to tell me?" So she said she wanted me to come with her, and I'm like, "I don't want to do that. This is my home. Detroit's my home. You know, Michigan boy. What? Rep the D? No, I wasn't even. I don't even live in Detroit when I was in Michigan. I was in this place called East Detroit or East Point or whatever." But I just call everything Detroit. That's my place. That's my true home right there. But anyway, um, she told me what was going on. Told me she was going out of state. And she told me, you don't have to come if you don't want to. But she did say she was going to probably force me to come or make me come. If I don't find a job within a certain time frame, they got to leave. I have to come because she refused to leave me here in this, in, with, you know, with nobody. Because uh, my brothers are all out of state. My friends, I'm not trying to down my friends, but most of my friends ain't making no real serious move to adulthood. Like, we're all between our age of 18 and 23, 24. All my friends are 18 and 23, 24. And everybody was either, you know, living with their mother or barely making it themselves and just living into a spot where they're not trying to really do nothing. Like, they like where they at. I'm like, I got to move forward in life. I want to get my own house, get my own car, get my own wife, get married, have some kids, have a normal life. You know, like Yoshikage Kira from JoJo's, I want a nice, quiet life. <laughs> Minus the murder. Maybe the murder if I go off the deep end or have some stand powers like he do. But anyway, shout out to JoJo's with our adventure part four. Any one of y'all been watching that? I know y'all have. Y'all better be liking this video because y'all have. But anyway... Um, as time went by, you know, months and months was passing, I couldn't find a job worth shit. But these jobs out of state was blowing up my phone saying, come work for me, come work for me. We like you. We like your resume. We like your style, whatever. And I'm like, how is it that jobs out of state don't even know how I look, who I am, how I act? They're blowing my phone up, yet the jobs here are being a piece of shit and don't want to freaking give a guy a chance or whatever, giving all these people who don't deserve it chances, who go to work and just sit there and, and sleep on the job. So, after his lease was up, we all was forced to move into my mom's house, whether I liked it or not. So it was me, my roommates, plus him, his wife, and child, and we're all living in my mom's, this small-ass little ranch-style house. And my mom trying to be Miss Biggest Heart on the Planet just can't refuse me or something. Well, she can, but she just can't refuse not helping people. But I'm not going to lie. That's how I am, too. That's probably who I get it from, that trait. So she let all of us move in, and it was a mess, guys. It was a hell of, hell of a big, giant mess. It was people everywhere, all over. It was so crowded. There was boxes and gear and all types of packs and packages and boxes all over the freaking place the garage oh my god our garage was filled to the brim now, our garage is a pretty nice sized garage it was it was it was freaking huge man well it wasn't huge but it was big enough and that crap was filled up with my stuff their stuff everybody's stuff man and from there the thing that really pissed my mom off the most is because none of us had a job the only person who had a job out of all of us was my friend's wife because my buddy was determined to do the Marines, so he didn't want to go get a job. So I wasn't gonna knock him on that. He was really trying. I, I don't really, I don't think he made it. I don't know if he made it or not. If he didn't, then I'm sorry for him. If he did, then congratulations. But anyway, 
His wife is working. My roommate was working, but he quit his job for God knows why. I have no idea why the fuck he did that. Um, and then there was me and him who was unemployed. So I'm job searching my ass off over there while he's training for the Marines. While I'm training also for the Marines secretly too. But anyway, you know, time just went by. And at her house, yes, at her house, she did have power. She did have internet. Now, some people might be watching this and probably will leave a comment and be like, how come you didn't upload nothing at your mom's house or whatever like that? Or when you was at his house with the internet and stuff. Although I did play games and I did record some gameplay guy, uh, footage for everybody, I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now, I don't have time to, to do that right now because my videos... I take a long time to uh, upload stuff because I edit them, I try to make them better, I gotta render them, I gotta make sure it's the right size, right sound, everything, because like, my gameplay videos be coming out all crappy like. Not to mention, I'm more popular on my Mugen website, Mugen Free For All, I'll be a link in the description in case you guys don't know about it. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm more popular on there and I'm trying to, I have promised people not only just gameplay of the PS4 games and all that, but Mugen tutorials and how to build your own fighting game and everything so most of my time I just spent if I wasn't job searching or at the gym trying to work out I was either cleaning up packing my shit or if I wasn't cleaning or packing or doing anything important in that nature like far as YouTube only thing I would do was be able to just record gameplay that's all I could do. I could barely, when I was on my computer, I couldn't record nothing because I didn't really have no good enough footage to record. This is why you are seeing probably the same footage y'all have seen in my other videos or y'all might just be seeing a single picture all day because I don't really have enough new footage or anything. That's what I've been doing in these later months, which I will get to in a second. But anyway, like I said, I spent like two months at my apartment I mean, before we moved into our mom's house, then we spent two more months, no, two or three months at my mother's house, just struggling our ass off for food, resources, you know, everything, because although there was a lot of people there, again, not a lot of people didn't have no jobs. My mom was the head honcho there, the breadwinner, and with only her and my buddy's wife working, they're taking care of three grown men, my little sister, uh, uh, my little brother-in-law, and his baby, and two women is taking care of all these people, and it wasn't acceptable. And I can't stand seeing my mom complain about she's broke or she's struggling or she because I mean, my mom knows I will help. And this goes for anybody who I know. I will help anybody in a second if I have if I have the means and the resources and the power. Or money or whatever the hell you want to call it I will help you in a second I don't even have to know you you can be one of the viewers right now if you're struggling real bad and I got the power to help you I will help you in a second but I, I just couldn't I could not get any luck or shit I um, only I got probably one luck one time when a job finally caught me back in Detroit we went there right away I passed my drug test I did all the other good stuff and then they never called me back for some reason. After we did the drug test and they told me you're positive, they just said, oh, wait, all you need is wait is one more call and then you can start. And I'm like, I never got that call. I was blowing them up like, yo, am I going to start or not? Like, what the hell? It never started. And then I got a call from uh, another job eventually. This job this at this store called Dollar General or Dollar Tree, I don't know, some dollar store. And I ended up getting fired there in a week. I was like, what? I'm telling you guys right now, I've only been fired from a job twice now because the first time I got fired from my job was off some bullshit. And I'll explain that later when we have some free time. But the reason I got fired from Dollar General or this new little dollar store I was working at is apparently um, they started me off a week early. I wasn't supposed to start until let's just say next week from now and the lady said you can come in if you want now but you're not technically on the schedule but you can come in if you want I'm like fuck yeah I need the money let's do it I went in there I was working I was working I was working and then there's one day where I came in and came in there late apparently now keep in mind guys I wasn't on the schedule I started a week early so I came in one day 
and my manager wasn't there, the person who employed me. When I came in the next day, she was furious and fired me on the spot. She's like, how come you didn't show up yesterday? And I'm like, I did. I showed, I guess I showed up too late or you wasn't there. And she just fired me on the spot. And I was, I was crushed. I was devastated. I was so happy to find a job for her finally, so I can finally help out my mom. I can help around the house. I can stay here in Detroit and rebuild my own place and blah, 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 blah. And I know what you're thinking, like, rebuild your own place from a... From a Dollar Tree like, or a Dollar Store? How the hell did you go live off a Dollar Store paycheck? Trust me. I find ways. Yeah. But anyway, um, after I got let go from this job, I had one last chance. I got the call. Uh, I just, this job right here was a choice. So they called me, and I started work at this factory place. The factory place was easy money. It was really good. But um, I got another call from an out of state job and here it is or, or I'm approaching my due date to either stay here or go out of state and um, as for this job they called I started work but I didn't have that many days so since I didn't have that many days it was just um, it was just basically like I'm only gonna work like three days out the week or something or here as this other job is telling me I can work like five, six days out the week, get paid weekly, so I have to choose. So I chose to get this job, and then I chose wrong apparently because um, that I couldn't go to that job. You know, it was too far or something that came up. So I am fucked up everything. So basically, I had finally had to accept it that okay, I need to go. I gotta go out of state. It just, it, it just. I have to move from Detroit. I got to move from my whole state because um, it's over. I failed. I mean, shit. What am I going to do?